Hi guys, Matt Barkas, CEO of Mint Builder, and today I want to talk about savings. Uh, I think we all know that inherently we're supposed to be saving for things in life, you know, mainly just to have a nest egg put away in case of emergencies. It's really important um, to have that. You feel safe and secure when you have that. But should you just take your hard-earned cash and put it into a savings account in the bank? Um, I say if you do that, I believe that you're th literally throwing away your hard-earned um, wealth, your hard-earned currency, uh, what you're working so hard for, you're just throwing away. And um, the reason I'm saying that, I know it's a bold statement, is because if you look at the purchasing power of your currency, um, your, what a lot of people call money mistakenly is actually fiat currency, um, it doesn't matter which country you're in, uh, it all has one destination. That destination is zero, worthless. That's eventually where it all goes to. Um, take the US dollar for example. Um, if you go back about 80 years, the, the dollar had um, you know 100% buying power um, and you know what do we compare that to? We compare it to what we're buying stuff for today. So as you go down the timeline to about 80 years to today, we have about 2% buying power left. So uh, what does that mean? What does this whole thing mean where the money is losing its value? Um, think of it as the battery on your phone. So when you have your cell phone, you see up in the up in the corner, you see your battery life. And when you see that, it's a little thin, tiny red line that says 2% left. What's your first instinct? It is to find a charger, right? You want to charge that phone up because you don't want it to die. Our currency is literally on the 2% um, battery life right now. That's how much our, our currency is and yet we still think that it's functional and normal uh, to have as, uh, as a, a means of trade and to store our wealth into. It's at a 2% life uh, power of life or, or battery life if you want to call it that and so that's a pretty pretty big problem. So what can you do then? So what you need to do is you need to plug your wealth into a charger and a charger is an asset. Um, currency, this is not an asset. Um, this is just kind of an IOU basically, this losing value. You need to plug it into an asset such as this, silver and gold. So this coin, you know, back when this dollar was real purchasing power of one dollar, you could buy one of these coins for what was our currency at the time was a, was a little bit different dollar, but still same same idea. You could you could have bought one of these coins for one of these. Today, it takes um, about 18 to 20 of these to buy one of these. So, and that's just right now. Uh, eventually it could be much, much more. Some people are predicting that it's gonna eventually take uh, hundreds of dollars to buy one ounce of silver. So silver is the charger for your wealth. So if you wanna go from 2% with this and you wanna be at 100%, then you need to start saving real assets. This is the charger for your wealth. You want to charge up your wealth and get started um, protecting yourself and knowing that you have a nest egg put away and actually holding real value, then this is how you do it. Not with this. Trade this in for this um, and not all of it. Of course, whatever you would save, do a percentage of your savings with a real asset and then you'll see your wealth being charged up to 100%. Uh, and that's where we want to be at. So hopefully that helps uh, get a better understanding of what it is with precious metals and, and the tremendous uh, power behind them and why uh, we recommend them so much here at Mint Builder. So uh, until next time, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks. Have a good day.